Tell us about a 1975 song and, and, and how it comes together. Well, you know what? We've never, we'd, we, uh, never to be kind of like, I don't know, trying to be too cool, we've never really discussed it that much, only because it's one of the only things that we've got left that, you know. What do you mean by that? Well, it's been a weird experience for us. We were a band for a, for a long time, a very long time behind closed doors. And within in the last year, we, we've had everything we could have ever dreamed of. With number one album, we were talking about supporting the Stones, all of these kind of statistical things, all of these amazing things that have happened. But that doesn't eradicate the way that you've lived your life for 90% of your time in a band. And I think that it was very strange for us to be so exposed because we went from no one knowing who our band was, therefore not having to worry about being too honest, not having to worry about anything because we weren't being judged to being the new hot band in town who, who are there to be kind of judged. And I think that's partially where some of the black and white comes from. When we first came out, we didn't want, we wanted everything to be quite minimal and removed and we wanted to detach everything from reality slightly. It's a long-winded way of getting around to talking about how we write a song. <laughs> It's not a total secret. Well, what did, you set out? Secret. what did you set out to do? I mean, obviously, you're talking about the, fun. The, the black and white thing, but clearly there was some thought going on into how you were going to represent yourselves. And if you bring it back to the basics, as you said earlier on, it's about the song. Tell me about a song and how it comes together, whether it's one that's just been written or when you guys were first starting out. Has the process changed? Yeah, it has changed a fair bit, hasn't it? I mean, we've never been a kind of very guitar-driven jam and idea band in a room kind of thing. We've, we've always um, kind of worked from a, a more programmed um, Computer starting based. point. Yeah, starting on a laptop and then fully programming something and then taking it into a live situation and then putting it back, kind of recording it more organically and more meticulously to kind of create a kind of more restrained version of if kind of a band in a room. Exactly. It's weird for us because we're kind of, we were like a band turned producers turned back to a band. And that's kind of why all those EPs we did and onto our album, like we produced all of those, we produced our album alongside Mike Crossy. Where, where did what you was, record the early stuff? In my bedroom. Simple as that. And how, how did you record it? On a laptop on Logic. Laptop, one microphone, shitload of samples. <laughs> that was it. It was a genuine composite of live music and electronic composition. The first, when we wrote a song called, the, the first song was The City, it, it was the first time we had a drum loop and then everything was loop based and we realized we could create a live band that works around, you know, we're obsessed with syncopation and, and the way that the relationship between bass and drums and everything working on what the other thing isn't playing. The textural element of that is something we're quite obsessive with. And that is, that's quite um, an easy way to look at it if you're actually looking at software, you know, because it, it works like that. I think that's the way that you work. You know, it's, we are, we're very visual in the way that we do everything. So there is a, it's like creating kind of a dance music, but we just put guitars on it at the end and then everyone goes, oh, saviors of guitar, guitar music. <laughs> <laughs> it's such nonsense. 